you, you've got an essay to write. You don't know where to start. You're probably taking a break from your essay right now. Your essay's probably due in a few days. Well, that's fine. So I'm studying English and American literature with creative writing. Yes, the course name is that long. So this style of writing may not be applicable to everyone. It may be mainly humanity subjects or obviously just English, but mainly I'm focusing on the mindset and what has helped me. I've been someone that has struggled when it comes to writing essays under timed conditions or if I've left it last minute. So obviously everyone plans their essays differently, but these are the things that have helped me and hopefully can help you. I had a seminar this morning and they said that today we're getting back our um, results for our very first essay. So I should probably check that because imagine if I'm giving advice that didn't work for me. Let's <laughs> okay, let's see how I did. Okay, I got a 68, which is good. But I personally would like to do better than that. So in the next one, I'll improve, I'll improve. I'll look at the feedback later. Oh gosh, thank God. This is the essay that I left last minute, but because I planned, I didn't hesitate as much, which is why I'm gonna share it with you today. Number one, when it comes to writing an essay, you cannot start without knowing the marking criteria. And sometimes you may think it's cringy, but I actually write them like affirmations so that I remind myself that I am capable because one thing about writing essays, it's important to be confident because it comes across in your writing as well. So you don't have to write like you're, I don't know, some Victorian white man that, <laughs> you know, write like your voice. As long as it's assertive and you're confident with the points that you're bringing across, then it really doesn't matter. My question was, discuss the relationship between the mind and the body in the modernist writing. This module is to do with modernist writing, so like the 20th century. So these are writers that are not just reacting to past traditions, but responding. We've been studying different type of modernist writers and one week we were studying the Harlem writers. So these are black writers that are writing after slavery and um, they're moving from a more rural farm type of area into the more urban New York City type of area and just talking about how that's changed over time. In this essay I kind of wanted to write about the poetry. So I wrote about Jean Tuma and Claude McKay. Okay so now the next thing to do is to deconstruct the question. This is basically what's gonna make the writing so much easier. So what I'll do, I'll start by highlighting the words, the keywords. So obviously the keywords in this question are mind, body, modernist, and relationship as well. So then all of those words, I will then find synonyms for them. So for example, synonyms to do with the mind would be consciousness, perspective, mental freedom, that links to behaviors, taught behaviors, you know, are the things that we've been taught identity they're, they're more abstract things they're not directly synonyms to the mind but they link in a way i literally just go on google define mind and then look at all the synonyms there okay now the next thing to do is free write free writing is something that i've started to do a lot more before essays because i want to break that mentality that essays are meant to be this like restriction or that type of thing that we just do because we're students it should be something that actually you feel passionate about and you've really thought about this is your writing this is a project okay this is your piece of art this is your work of art and this free writing it may not be something that you actually use in the final piece but it's just writing bullet pointing ideas anything that comes to your mind it might not even be related to any of the text that you're writing about but it gets you thinking and sometimes the most original ideas come from a place of just journaling and free writing. Yeah, I just wrote down some phrases that I liked that I wanted to include, like, you know, may they may be physically free, but are they mentally free? And that links back to mind and body, which will be something that will be good to write about. So yeah, just free write, don't think about it too much. These are just the initial ideas. So you've done the thinking and some things might have now popped up to you from what you've written. So it depends the length of your essay. My one was only 2,500, so 
I, I basically just focused on three main points and expanded on those but you know you might want to write about four points you might want to break them down into smaller sections but for me I just wrote three main points so those are my three points and I basically point out where I can find them in the text that I'm using so obviously when you have your evidence your evidence has to be quite varied so you can't just talk about the language and the metaphors and similes but also the structure what order are things shown to you what things do they delay until later why do they delay it until later the more you talk about the writer's intentions or what they were trying to advocate it shows more depth in your analysis as well also with the form because we're talking about poetry in this essay what is the body of the text how does it actually look on paper and especially because the question is about body as well how does that symbolize something in the actual message of the poem why are they three line stanzas why are they separated is it to show the separation between the diaspora or something like that don't be afraid to go out of the box okay no idea is too far-fetched if you have evidence going back to this idea of the writer's intention is it autobiographical oh wow autobiographical is it autobiographical is it intruding in some way one phrase that i'm going to give to you today to use is authorial intrusion this is when the author is intruding into the text and basically having a bias on a certain view who is the voice speaking especially if we're talking about the mind and the body is the person speaking an observer are they a participator you know just go ham just go ham with the with the analysis don't be afraid just go for it how does it fit in the wider context like earlier we were talking about commodifying bodies and using bodies for profit and obviously in this writing black bodies for performance for entertainment you can talk about feminist reading if like the female bodies in this are sexualized like in the harlem dancer etc etc so there is a lot there is a lot you can do here there's a lot you gotta do here and you have to take this essay you have to take this degree and be like this degree is mine okay i no longer want anyone to say that these exams are finishing me or this essay is gonna finish me no you're gonna finish this essay you're gonna finish this degree okay amen thank you okay now you've done all of that you've got your evidence you've numbered them it's now time for the big plan so this is entirely up to you but i color coordinate all of my points evidence analysis context etc so that i can see if there's a balance between everything but also the order depends on what you're studying or what your uni wants from you now that you've written out the plan it's time to blurt blurt put in those headphones whatever gets you in that mood you know sometimes it might just be going to the library with no music at all i've actually realized that sometimes i like writing in silence without lo-fi hip-hop music maybe because sometimes the lo-fi hip-hop music kind of slaps and then i get carried away i got so many reasons to thank my god and i got so many reasons to thank my god yeah i'm trying to do this work but this beat kind of slaps and <laughs> so it's up to you it's really up to you what what works for you you are thrown up metaphorically on the page on the word document you're just writing without looking back like you're in a marathon don't think about if you've articulated this sentence right or wrong because if we keep on stop starting stop starting and looking back at every sentence and criticizing it it's just like our brain gets really tired so just keep on writing just write 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 write, 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 write this is only for the first draft by the way you don't have to do this but personally i don't look back until i finish the whole essay but you can obviously look back after every paragraph to see if the next paragraph is going to make sense but i call it marathon writing like i just write without looking back and then once that's done take a breather you know if you still have a couple of days to finish this essay leave it for the rest of the day okay give yourself a pat on the back you've done the, the hardest part cook a meal socialize with a housemate or something or listen to a podcast one thing i would definitely say even though you're taking a break make sure to keep your motivation up usually i don't go on my socials during that time because sometimes it will demotivate me or i'll get distracted or want to do something else so i listen to a podcast or watch study tube there's a lot of youtubers that 
I love to watch and sometimes even films for me especially with my degree films inspire my writing so much it's the next day now it's time to look back and critique I think there's something good about knowing where you need to improve and which is why I try and make sure that my first draft is not perfect if i'm writing without looking back there's going to be a lot of grammatical errors there's going to be a lot of things that don't make sense but i'll be able to correct that you made the pizza you made the base you put it all together but today you're putting it in the oven okay i'm kind of hungry i haven't eaten yet one thing that's helped so much with grammatical errors and just making sure that my essay sounds nice is getting my laptop to read it out loud we day chop life before life can chop us Let's break this hesitation when it comes to writing down essays. I think the main reason why sometimes we struggle is because we see the bigger picture instead of breaking it down into sequences. There's no point seeing the house and not seeing the bricks and cement that build up that body of work. Everything that we do has a purpose. This essay that you're writing, you're practicing for the future when you're writing your own things, you know? So everything you do, you should enjoy it. It shouldn't feel like work. Don't do it because you feel like, oh, it's going to make me the most money or it's going to make my parents proud. I'm telling you, if you do what you're good at, those things will, will come. But yeah, that's it, guys. All the best for those writing essays at this time of year. And I'll see you in my next video.